Seoul vows to move families from parasite-style basement home after flooding death. Seoul, South Korean, has vowed to move some of the city's poorest families out of underground and semi-suburban homes after 13 people were killed in flood caused by recorded rainfall this week, sparking public horror and call for government accountability. The death which include a family who drowned after becoming trapped underground, have spurred the South Korean capital to put an end to people's living in Bajinha homes, the often cramped and diggy basement apartments made famous by the movie Parasite. The family of three, a woman in her 40s with Down syndromes, her sister and the sister 13 years old daughters, died after water pressure prevented them from opening the door of their flooded home in Seoul, southern Guanak district. On Monday night, torrential rain, the city's heaviest in more than 100 years, caused severe flooding in many low-lying neighborhoods south of the Han River, swept cars away and forcing hundreds to evacuate. The family lived in a banhiha, a half-underground apartment, typically several steps below street level. In Seoul's notoriously expensive house market, these apartments are some of the most affordable options available, meaning they are mostly inhabited by young people and those on low incomes, often small, dark and prone to mold during the humid summer. Bahi has gained global notoriety following the release of Bong Joon-ho's Oscar-winning 2019 movie Parasite, which follow a fictional family's desperate attempt to escape poverty. The home has since come to represent rampant inequality in one of the world's wealthiest cities. For years, there have been growing calls for the government to provide more affordable housing, improve living condition in Bahijas, or phrase them out altogether, which official pledge to do following public outcry over President Ju suk Yu's handling of the crisis. In the future, in Seoul, basement and semi-basement, Bahijas will not be allowed to be used for residential purpose. The Seoul city government said in a statement on Wednesday. However, experts say the government's promise overlooked larger problem that permits beyond the basement wall of skyrocketing living costs that force the most vulnerable people to seek shelter in substandard housing susceptible to flood and heat, some of the worst effect of climate change. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.